I'm with you, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody! Go ahead, Chad. Hey, go ahead. Hey, everybody! Hey, Merry Christmas uh, and a Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, we made a little uh, top five episodes of 2021. Yes, we did. So, thank you, everybody, who's uh, watched, liked, subscribed, listened, commented. Uh, we appreciate all of it. These are the top five episodes of 2021. Enjoy. Hit or die. Hit or die. It's the Razzy, uh, Randy Azador's signing, which got me a, a scholarship to Fresno State. If he hadn't signed, he was going to come back. I would probably went to San Diego State. So um, it was just a uh, things fell into place for me there, and, and I learned so much at Fresno State. You know, I was of a raw, a raw kid, just green and, and just soaked it up like a sponge and, and coach Bennett would just look you right in the eye and tell you what you needed to do. And, you know, I took it to heart. Yeah. I think we've had numerous players that have played for him and even the coaching staff with Rupsich and purse talk about him just as a teacher more than anything, how much he taught. Um, it didn't even seem like a coach. Uh, was that your same experience there? Oh, no doubt. You know, he was, you know, he had different ways of trying to push your buttons and uh, and just to see if you would answer the bell, you know, push you to that next limit, um, see what you have, see the guts you got. You know, and I, you know, I listened to Bobby's podcast that you sent me and, and he was talking about the fungo thing. Well, he picked Bobby in that line because he wanted guys to get behind Bobby because he knew Bobby's a leader. And if Bobby makes that catch and saves the day, that the, the guys would gather around him and, and follow him. So, you know, he was strategically doing things in practices that we weren't aware of at the time. But, you know, as we moved on and became coaches, you put, you pick those guys out. You know the alpha dog. You know the guy that's going to lead. You know the guy that's going to succeed. And guys are going to follow. And you pick those guys and you make them step up in front of them to watch, to maybe get that guy behind him to step up too. So, uh, you know, it was it was one of those things where it was it, it was deeper than what we thought it was. We thought it was punishment, you know, being ran and and push. But that's that's the coach's job is to find out what your limits are. I forgot to also talk about you got you guys. Uh, Great season, and then you, you get into the playoffs. And well, he did probably is okay with you not talking about. It. I know, no, but <laughs> but you know, I want to you know finish the career. It's not yeah. a knock. I'm not trying. Well, I mean, who didn't want to see a memorial Buchanan? Because no, after actually, actually, who didn't want to see a Bullard Memorial game <laughs> to go to the championship? Yes. You know, who didn't want to see that? Because first? you had that final week of league, and where you had to win two out of three. Yeah. And you guys got it done, yeah, with some controversy in there. With, with, I wouldn't say some. I'd say, quite how a bit. was that? That was was that at Bullard that happened the pitch count thing? Uh, that was at Bullard, yeah. And that was kind of like a. It wasn't something that was like planned to happen because I've known I I know there's I mean even in travel ball there's been instances where we've gotten disqualified from playoffs during a tournament for a team is waiting for us to throw one too many pitches and they're like hey call them out for it but um <laughs> but but at bullard it was it was like um i can't remember what the score was at the time but we were we were losing and it, it got to i think it was when it was eight to two because i think that was the final score and we were like holy shit they're still pitching like schneider's been pitching this whole damn game and we're like um and and, and coach sales was like what's, what's this pitch count and and so um they checked it, and that's what we had. And then we're like, "Well, technically, that's a it's against the rules for what happened." And uh, and so they kind of just called it out for it. And then I think it just it was kind of like an in the moment thing, and it turned into this whole like, "Oh, it was like that week was probably the most fun week I've ever had." In my well, life. you have you guys are the two. <laughs> 
last because that was game one, right? That was game one. That was game two. That was game so two. The, the first game was. Um, so it did come down to the four. third game. Yeah, yeah. whoever yeah. won, right? Yeah. Winner yeah. take all. You guys get to go back home, uh, and you put the whooping on UMass. How how anxious, yeah. how anxious were you there? Super anxious because I believe, I, you know, I, I'm almost positive. Um, the game before UMass was University of Oregon at University of at University of Oregon, and it was like my first big game. Um, you know, I walked into that arena thinking like. You know, the fans are going to leave me alone. Nobody knows me. I'm going to sneak up on people. And during warm-ups, the fans, the student section, started counting my shots in warm-ups. And I think by the time the buzzer went off to start the game, I think the fans had me at, like, 4 for 40. <laughs> and they were, they, they were in my head um, before the game started, and I was like, oh, fuck. You know, like, I got no shot. And... University of Oregon put like this six 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 seven athletic guard on me that just draped me the whole time, and I I was terrible. I was I was absolutely terrible, and I had to fly cross country, you know, with a lot of self doubt, and you know I I was like now I'm going back to play in my hometown against an unbelievable team on ESPN, and I suck, and. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know if I can do this. And you know. I know at least at Sound Arena, that was the spot. And the best part about that was when you guys first came out of the tunnel and you did your first lap around the, um, the the court and where the fans could actually be right there next to you guys. And then that Mortal Kombat. I mean, that was just <laughs> that got it going. And the Tark meter is just going. And um so i know you probably had a blast playing at selling uh with the fans there well one of my favorite parts of unguarded i was telling chad earlier n no shit i get chills every time when you, you come back in the, in the documentary to selling an empty selling and you're scanning the building and you're talking about the energy of that place and seeing faces in the seats like uh -huh. i i get chills because i i remember being there watching uh -huh. you know you guys play and dominic young and I mean, no joke, that place was sold out for the... And like you said, the kids today don't know Tark, but as a kid, the Tark meter and just... I mean, that place was sold out every game. Yeah. No, yeah, listen, it, it was... I say this all the time, right? People are like, you know, why Fresno, right? Like, why... You know, like, you were recruited by Texas, Florida, Kentucky. Like, why Fresno? And, you know, first answer is Coach Tark, right? And... But then, because they had the best fans in the country, you know what I mean? Like, there was no doubt. Like, the fans in Selen Arena, Fresno State, the community, the way they embraced it, the way they got behind it. Like, n I feel bad. I feel bad for my son. My son, you know, he went to BC and then he transferred to San Diego. Like, nobody... Like, for kids to never get that experience, right? For college kids who never get that experience is, you know, that's, to me, uh, you know, where the magic is. And, you know, the Fresno State fan base um, was the best that I've seen, right? And, and we played in a lot of big games in a lot of arenas where we were public enemy number one coming into town. And nobody matched. Nobody matched. Uh, the fans and selling. So it was last night. It was last night. And Matt Fox of Washington Union High School dropped it. Dropped it. I mean, like, the sack to do that? How, I mean, he might be, you know. Is that your new best friend? He might be walking down the street with his nuts. He might have some chafing <laughs> going on on his ball sack for the next fucking month. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, they're hanging low. I saw it, and I, I was so pumped when that happened. And to see to see who it was, which we won't say because we're not about that. We're about talking about what's going on. But people saw it. People saw it. You know, but it's different when a coach is sending fucking text messages and emails. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> is there do you have anything any fucking bone in your body that says you know what good for washington union good for them man they got another matt garza or you know what i mean yeah good for another justin Cr- good for them I, you know what? I hope he, he gets that team back to a freaking section championship or something. You know what I mean? No, we want him. Why? Because we need to win. It's important that we win. Fuck them. We need to win. Yeah, no. I have to satisfy this ego. Mm-hmm. This, has, this is all that can be number one. That's why everybody defends it. Hey, start spreading the news. <laughs> I do want to say this. You you weren't on base five of the games, 56. 14 stolen bases? That's so we need to fucking get that shit up a little bit. We're we're right. get, we're getting that up. I'm trying to I'm trying to work with Esky on the green light, and we were we were doing <laughs> we, we were doing some uh some vault steel. We were trying some new steel technique stuff this year. So next, I mean, I was talking to Enrique Enrique Bradfield from Vandy who had what, oh, 50, yeah. 50 whatever Something he had. Like that. Yeah, some stupid. So I was number. talking to him. I'm like, dude, like how the hell do you steal so many bases? I'm like, green dude, light, I'm, man. yeah. I'm like, he's like, honestly, I just go. I'm like. Okay, I'm just gonna go next year. So we're just gonna we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna go from there, but we're definitely gonna hey, as long as you're road. safe. you won't say anything. Exactly, exactly. If I'm safe, green lights open. But if I get out, then I'm, he's gonna be pissed. Yeah, we need you to be a 2020 guy next year. Oh, easy, <laughs> okay. easy. I mean, he's, I'm gonna. I should be hey, in the it's 20s. possible. Hey. We need you to be a 2020. Guy. All right, I'm gonna yeah. be in the 20s for sure next year. I'm not worried. About I'm sure that. he wants to be even more though. More than oh, that. Yeah. Heck yeah. Why yeah. not? I mean, might as well try and beat Enrique. Wrong with that. So, I mean, I, I just I, I decide to go pants down just to save myself some embarrassment on that end because we have some guys, that, even on our Stanford team, that have absolute tree trunk calves. It, just, it makes me feel terrible about myself. So Yeah, but you can motor, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, you hit third, right? But you can drag bunt for a hit at any time. Yeah. You can hit the ball over the fence. You can go gap to gap. Yeah. You can hit a triple. Oh, and then I can still 14, 15 bags. Yeah. Probably more than that. Yeah, more than that. Definitely uh, more than that. I'm just, that. yeah, we're going 20, 20. That, yeah. yes. If he goes 20, 20, I, I will get the tattoo. 20 for 20? Wait, hold Really? I, I'm telling you right now. You better now, hold I'm on, gonna, hold on. Because that is, that is a realistic goal. No, that's easy. 20 bags is See, like, a 1,000 subscribers, there's no fucking way we're getting 1,000 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> I mean, we're at three twenties on it right now. In two years, twenty twenty. <laughs> All right, that's you don't have any tattoos. Well, we'll get back to it. Well, we'll let me, <laughs> let me think about fuck. that some more. That's good right there. That's good. I saw your face when you said it too. Yeah, You're he was like, nervous. Oh, shit, he was nervous. Really he said that? It, yeah. We'll have to edit this. We're down. gonna cut that. No, we're not editing it. Any <laughs> none of it. None. Especially if you say you want that. Mm-hmm. That's what it takes. Got to put it in. So no, it's uh, it's awesome, dude. You represent our area well. We're rooting for you. And uh, I hope you get. I hope you hit all those goals, man. I really do. I do We're too. getting you that tattoo. Let's do it. Um, yeah, you're buying, so that's the deal. You just got to be there when I get it, too. That's the deal. I mean, how about this? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a little. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little icing on the cake for him, though. Okay. If you do all those things and he gets that tattoo, you got to get a hit or die tattoo. If I don't don't if get you it, do, or if I do no. If you do, okay, I'm in. Yeah, not yeah. if you don't. If you do, and he gets that yeah, one, I mean, that's just a good quote to go by anyway. Hit or die. Hit or die, right. baby. That's why we did it. I'm yeah. in. All right. That's a deal. Hey, does that because it, it's a deal? Because he's getting one. Yeah, that's a deal. One. It's a deal. Huh. It's right. a deal. I'm in. I'm in. I just said I don't want the whole fucking. You don't even have <laughs> to get it there. We could get a tramp stamp on the yeah, back. There, there we go. go. Fresno. A little tramp stamp. There you go. Butter. We we'll get it in a super, butterfly super too. Cute. We'll get a butterfly around it. Yeah, we'll make it look cute. Yeah. We'll do it in neon. Yeah. Right. There we'll have go. a neon right there above. You go. Your wife would love that. I'm sure she would. Oh, she's going to love if she doesn't watch this. So it's good. Yeah. She'll never know. I'm going to come home with rap on my arm because this guy is going to do it. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I might. I think I might go in on it. Might as well. I might. Why not? Fuck it. By the end of the year, I, it may just do it anyways. We'll be we'll be in touch. Yeah, we will. We'll be we in will. touch. We'll work it out. No, man. Thank you again. And uh, good luck going forward, dude. I appreciate you doing this. Sure. Uh, Brock Jones, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Go follow the podcast, Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes. Please subscribe on YouTube and uh, go follow Mr. Jones here. Oh, yeah. At uh, where are you at on, on Instagram? What's your tag? Brock underscore Jones seven, I think. And Twitter also? Uh, that's probably like 
I think it's a little different. Yeah, Brock Jones. We'll tag it on everything yeah, when we post like this, though. But uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this, man. And we, we thank you for sticking with us. Again, thank you. Hit or dies. Hit all 50 states in the U.S. That's pretty cool. 20 countries. We just thank you all for that. And uh, it's another episode of the Hit or Die podcast. Hit or die. Boom, baby.